my name is Ferenc Cornish. I'm a consultant at the company uh, with the name NU Agra. Uh, this is a um, consulting um, company in, yeah, in whole Europe, um, including Ukraine. Furthermore, we have uh, clients in uh, Russia uh, and in south of Brazil. And uh, yeah, um, today I will speak about the rapeseed and the inefficiency of a rapeseed. And uh, yeah, this is um, a very actual uh, thing where a lot of farmers are thinking, uh, th thinking about the right um, strategy. And I hope I will give you some ideas uh, for this year and for the next years, including. So, um, how is the actual situation? The actual situation looks like that the prices of the uh, of the fertilizer are extremely uh, develop, uh, developed. And uh, if we look where the price was at uh, 2020, uh, then we can see, okay, the urea uh, was um, the kilogram of nitrogen price in euro was about uh, 0.5 or 0.4. And now we have about uh, two euros. And um, this means that we need for one ton uh, of rapeseed, we need about uh, 50 kilograms of nitrogen. And this means um, one year or a half year ago, it means about uh, 50 euros per ton with a price of 350 uh, uh, 50 euro. And uh, now it means we need for the 50 uh, kilogram of N, uh, 100 uh, euro, but we get 600 euros back per ton. So the situation is not so bad as a lot of farmers think. Uh, because of the prices of the rapeseed, they are uh, high too. But we can do some uh, some things uh, to get a better uh, efficiency of the nitrogen, and that means we have to go back to the roots. Uh, this is a, a funny title, I think, uh, because um, in the uh, one side we we see that, okay, we need good roots. And if we have good roots, uh, then we have uh, a better uh, tolerance to any stress. Um, and uh, we have to go to go back to the roots, um, to the basics, so like uh, what kind of uh, soil preparation, what kind of intensity of uh, soil preparation, soil preparation um, what nutrients we need um, and yes this this is in the um, in my presentation so um, one thing is that less plants have a better and efficiency if we have less plants one plant has more space to build a very strong root and um, there is no concurrence to any other um, yeah, plant in near. So we have better single um, plants and those uh, plants have a better uh, efficiency for all the nutrients. So for me, it means that um, um, the, the other effect is um, that with less plants, the, the uptake of nitrogen is in the autumn, um, um yeah less so it's not so high so if we have a look um how many nitrogen uh, the rapeseed is taken up to in, in the autumn then we can see that in the yeah a rapeseed with 10 leaves um have with 20 to 30 plants per square meters about an uptake of 50 uh, to 60 kilograms of nitrogen. A bigger plant with 14, uh, 14 plant, um, leaves um, have an uptake of about 110 
uh, kilograms of nitrogen. And now if we have more plants at the same stages, here, the example, we have uh, 10 leaves, but 40 to 50 plants per square meters. Then we have 20 to 30 kilograms more that um, the, the, the plants um, have, have more uptake of nitrogen. And if we have bigger plants, so uh, we have plants with 14 um, leaves, then the uptake is uh, not about 100, it's about 115. So it's much more. And if we have problem with uh, older rapeseed in our field, uh, and we have about 60 to 70 plants per square meters, then we can see, okay, uh, for example, with uh, 40 leaves, uh, we have an, uh, an uptake of 200 kilograms. And this is a limit what many soil don't get. So this is something we have not so much uh, nitrogen in the, in the soil. Okay, so this is often then the situation that we can see um, rapeseed uh, before winter that they um, are yeah, going to um, be yellow or have yellow leaves or purple leaves. And this is a symptom of the um, uh, deficiency of, um, of nitrogen. And we know that at the eight leaf stage, uh, if we have an, a nitrogen deficiency, then we have less buds at the end. So that means less kernels at the end. Okay, so um, how many nitrogen we need? Um, the, the nitrogen delivery um, from the, or the re-delivery in autumn to rapeseed, we can calculate. We can calculate, uh, we have the nitrogen which is in the soil, in the uh, liquid or soil liquid. Um, and if we have a good, uh, harvest then it's about 20 uh, kilograms of nitrogen if we have um, a bad uh, harvest and ba bad uh, yield before then it means about 60 uh, kilograms then we have the nitrogen which comes of the soil the uh, organic matter and um, then we can calculate um, the, the uptake the uptake um, is about 60 to 120 kilograms from this rep seed. And um, yeah, now here, this is what comes from the soil. This is what we need. And so we need to fertilize uh, about 30 to 90 kilograms of nitrogen. And then um, if we have very big plants, then it's enough to fertilize um, about 100 kilograms of nitrogen uh, in the spring, if we have uh, small or um, yeah, small plants, then it means we need about 160. Okay, so we can see um, we have this effects of the um, the um, different of uh, seeding systems. Here is an example. On the right side, uh, there is a single seed drill system, and on the uh, left side, we have the traditional sing, uh, seeding system. And um, the uh, one of the yeah, best effect or benefit of the single uh, seed drill system is we can go um, uh, we can go down with the plants per square meters or with the kernels per square meters, and have a very good um, and safe uh, emergence. And um, this is uh, good for uh, dry conditions. So if you have dry conditions at seeding time, um, then the emergence of the rapeseed after a single seed drill system is, um, is safe. And uh, we have more problems with the traditional seeding systems. And another effect is that the um, rotation point um, is um, yeah, not, 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 not going so high. Um, and um, here we can see it's very low. It's about one centimeter and not higher. And after this, um, here in the spring, uh, we can see the, yeah, we have more place um, where the sunlight can go down uh, to the 
to the lower buds. And so we have very good uh, tillers, uh, yeah, tillerings. And um, here we can see one plant with a lot of tillers. So one plants with a lot of tillers, a lot of flowers, and at the end, a lot of um, kernels per one, uh, one plant. Okay, then one point of the basics. Uh, for me, the basic, uh, uh, one of the basics is uh, the soil preparation and the intensity of the soil preparation. Um, we do soil preparation to mix the straw after the harvest in our, um, in our soil. And um, if we have there some problems and the, the mixing is not so good, then we can see problems like this. So here there is, there, were, there is a plant or there are plants um, what are very good. And after this, very small plants. Um, I use my spade and um, dig in the, in the soil and under the good plants, there was no problem. The spade was about uh, in 30 centimeters and under the small plants, after 20 centimeters, there was a, there was a, a hard uh, layer. Um, and it, after I, I, I digging out the soil, I can see that there was uh, a straw. So straw is a big problem. And we, we need an intensive um, mixing and intensive soil preparation to, to mix this straw in the whole, uh, whole layer of the soil. And um, these are another pictures. Um, what is not so good? A lot of straw in the, uh, in the upper layer of the, uh, of the soil. We don't mix it good. Um, and so it's very bad for the, for the rap seed. And then the right side, we have uh, soil compact, uh, compactions. And this is something what the rap seed uh, really don't like. Um, here is an example. This is a soil with a very hard uh, soil compaction at um, 15 centimeters. And um, we do um, a strip the system there um, with 30 centimeters put uh, and plus put some fertilizer in 25 centimeters. And this was the result. This is the same uh, same place, same soil, um, and the left side, the normal system, and then the right side, the system with the, uh, with a deep uh, strip till. And we can see reps, rep seed have a tap root and need a space to get down to the lower um, layers in the soil and to suck there the water and the nutrients. And here is an example um, how to solving this problem. Um, we do here um, in the front, um, um, yeah, a tillage. And uh, after this here, the single seed system, um, we can put a fertilizer with this system in deeper layers. There are some other systems where we can do the same. And um, the benefit of this, um, how we or where we place our nutrients is that we can, um, yeah, we can manage the, the direction of our roots. So we have phosphorus. Phosphorus is something or a nutrient uh, where we know that the roots are um, growing to the phosphorus and um, and we yeah we need phosphorus we have a very good effect uh, with phosphor and when we place the phosphorus in deeper layer then we can um, direct the root to the deeper layer and there we get more um, fine um, or more small roots and a good root system in a deeper layer Okay, when we use um, this kind of systems, uh, this cause uh, depot fertilization, um, we have very good effects with, um, with soils with a high clay content. 
So high is for me about 25 to 30 and more um, um, yeah, percent of clay. And if you see a rapeseed with leaves like this, um, here the yellow uh, color at the sides of the leaves, then this is a typical um, deficiency of uh, potassium. And here, the yeah the, the 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 effect is that normally our soil is um, uh, is negative. So uh, we have yeah this this um, soils that they are uh, negative, and if we put our positive um, ions like um, potassium or um, magnesium. Um, to the soils, then they are yeah, fixing on the soil. And we need a lot of uh, potassium in the soil to get potassium in the soil, which is not fixating. And if we use this depot system, then the, um, yeah, the, the effect of this is that we have a very high concentration in one string in one depot and um, only the uh, potassium, for example, on the, um, yeah, on the sides is fixing, uh, yeah, fixation. Um, and the, the potassium inside the depot is um, available for the, for the plants. So this is one thing what we can use um, on heavy soils and it's have a very good effect. And another point is the effect of the phosphorus. Um, if we have a soil um, with a low content of phosphorus, then here, for example, we uh, spread some nitrogen uh, on the right side and on the left side, we uh, use a fertilizer, um, diamond phosphate, and we have here less nitrogen, but in combination with phosphorus, and you can see it's much better. So here the effect is not because we, we use more uh, nitrogen. No, the effect is we use potassium, uh, we use phosphorus. So here we have with phosphorus, a very good effect. And this is something what we can use uh, in our N efficiency. And what we can use also is the, uh, the plant analytics. Uh, we can do plant um, uh, analytics, um, the, the nutrients in the plants, um, and uh, we, then we can see, is there any problem or not? Here we can see nitrogen is enough, phosphorus is yeah enough, um, magnesium is a problem, sulfur is a problem, and molybdene is a problem too. Okay, molybdene, one of the smallest nutrients. What happens if we have not enough molybdene in our soil? We know molybdene is very important uh, in the N efficiency. And here, a uh, trial of us. Um, we use at the soil with a low pH. And this is something what we know from the basics. Um, low pH, yeah, a bad availability of, um, of uh, molybdene. So low pH, we use 60, 140, 180, and 220 nitric, uh, nitrogen. OK, then. Um, we use some um, uh, sulfur, then we have a good, yeah, we have more um, yield. Then we use more sulfur. We can see we have a much more effect, a higher yield. And then um, if we have um, a problem with the molybdene here, at pH 5.1 and we use it molybdene um, and uh, with sulfur. Here, the example without um, sulfur or molybdene, uh, 140 kilograms of nitrogen. 
okay, we are about uh, less than three tons. If we give um, twice um, a molybdene um, for your uh, fertilizer, um, then we can see we have 0.5 more uh, yield. And if we um, make this, um, or if we uh, combine this with sulfur, then we have with 140 kilograms of nitrogen, um, yeah, more than, or less than one ton more yield. And we know molybdene is very cheap. So this is a very high effect um, because of um, um, molybdene deficits. And we can see if we use more nitrogen, it don't mean that the, uh, the, the yield is much more higher. So um, have a look at our plants how the, the nutrients um, are in our plants, use the, the uh, plant analytics. And my strategy for 2022 is that we can use um, now the analytics of soils like um, S-min or N-min. That means how many sulfur or how many nitrogen is in the, um, in the soil and is it and, and this is the available sulfur and nitrogen. Then I use uh, twice in the season um, a plant analyt analysis. Then we have our um, yeah our foliar fertilizer based on our plant analytic. Then in BBC age 30, 32, I will use my second, and this is the highest um, nitrogen uh, fertilizer. And then if it's good, if the weather conditions are good, then I use uh, based on my uh, second spring plant analytic uh, foliar fertilizer plus some uh, liquid nitrogen. So this is the system and we can see we, we, we have to use um, the basics like sulfur, like molybdene, like phosphorus, or if we have problem with potassium, then, um, then the depot uh, fertilizer systems. These are things what we can use to get better N efficiency and better um, root systems. Uh, we can get when we do an intensive um, uh, yeah, soil preparation and um, if we mixed our straw uh, good in our soil. So this was the short presentation. I hope I can help you for this season and uh, for the next seasons too. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day.